Hello! Happy weekend, traders and investors. Welcome back to our channel, Market Forecast and Investment. So, today is Friday. I hope everybody is ready to take a rest and enjoy the weekend with your families and friends and your day off work. So, I just made this video for like a weekly summary of our what have been happening on our markets. So first, before we proceed with our specific stocks, we will make an analysis in our index. This is one of the modern of all the market uh, movements this one is our uh, top indicator or if this is has been moving a uh, good impulse then more likely our indices and top listed stocks will be also in a similar market direction so if you have viewed one of previous of my posts and tutorials actually nothing changes on our charts here but instead the closing is what is very important in our market so our weekly candle just closed today and then it didn't manage to close above the weekly opening which was at 7078 it closed around 7007 but anyway not really that focus on that area because uh, that's too specific what I just want you to show to show you is the structure that has been formed and in coincidence with our previous analysis of our index so let me make this quick so that we can proceed with for this weekend we will tackle around five stocks which have we have made uh, analysis before so we have the same um, forecast that our market is heading is a third impulsive wave of the fifth wave of this greater motive phase so this will be the last impulsive wave so this I'm talking about this one so this one is the next impulse wave that will be finishing off so on my first videos I reiterated that our index is like to target this area or we're likely to finish with this wave 5 of so this is a f f fifth wave fifth minor wave of the fifth impulsive wave of this market cycle so on the, mi the minor time frame if we ch like to shift our time frame so from weekly chart we are now proceeding with this daily chart so it becomes noisy right now so that's why I rarely make analysis on the lower time frame since I don't like this too much of manipulations and noise from the chart itself but shifting in a lower time frame only enable me to really spot this um, you know uh, what are the inside structures so that we will be able to connect these minor waves into a bigger wave on the larger time frame so our index just touched this channel I have mentioned before that this will be 
a triangle possibly a triangle so it touches this area so if this will be reject this is this was already rejected this area but at the last day of the week immediately this gap right here was filled up this gap is here this gap it, as I mentioned before these are the areas where um, buyers if it's bullish the buyers was overcome by our sellers and then immediately it concluded with the gap was filled before the weekend so by using this uh, idea and strategy so we are now ready that the market will be having a minor correction right here so for the next week we may experience um, our index like do some this then prior to May a higher high so when this is validated um, our index will be already starting to shift and then it will target this uh, third impulsive wave of our bigger motive phase so enough of that so after you we use this we utilize this um, idea so our market is in a is experiencing a sideways correction for the next week and then it will make a support right, right here in this area if it can hold if this will hold so eventually it will uh, already start to appreciate so next in line we will be tackling about one of our um, forecasted chart for the last week so this is uh, Dito Dito is as our chart was very clear before we are still on a fifth minor wave so this one this area of the last wave Y corrected wave Y so from our wave Y started from this area from this which it made a first impulse then corrected then traveled all the way down here so that's the third impulse one of the longest wave then it made series of waves so it expanded wave so this is a continuation wave and then more likely it can end on this sorry on this area so this one was this one we already emphasized that there are some gaps on the daily time frame I'm now shifting to time, time daily time frame so this area was an imbalance so this is our area of interest we label our buy zone as color blue so that it will be clear to our viewers to our traders and investors and then we keep a stop loss um, on the wave one territory so one of the violations of um, a huge wave theory is that the corrective phase especially wave wave two or our wave wave four it should not touch our wave one territory if it will break and it will uh, really penetrate this area so our analysis is invalidated so we have to make a recount so we remain bearish for this and then we only spot for the discount price of 4.2 4.22 so next in line um, we take we make a weekly analysis of Monday on the Nissan Corporation so as you can see 
which, which he told the weekly if the sentiment is right so see we are keeping our position here from 13.48 to 13.5 so the weekly candle class just closed so it revealed the true market sentiment so it's still a bearish candle so more likely um, if uh, this uh, continues we shift to our daily time frame so on the last day the normal uh, normal certain sentiment if the market to make this the market makers to preserve their positions they will be mitigating its positions by selling off and lowering the positions so they already made it right here this this way so we can reaccumulate if this uh, area will be revisited and then we hold to our target we keep our target on this level so up next uh, we have we will uh, analyze around DMC uh, we have already made a analysis on this stock so we will just monitor if our analysis is still validated so we have to remove this area for a clearer view so for those who have not yet watched uh, we have a good analysis on this and our so this one we have a made of good wave one then a wave to correction then our projection is will be on the next few weeks and months and years the price will try to complete this wave 3 impulsive wave so our wave 3 impulsive wave will have a target of around 12.96 so it's the true profit is by holding our positions is taking to our plan and our risk management so it closes the candle closes right and it's closes a bullish candle so we remain that our validate that our analysis is validated and then this is a our way for was, was already completed so interest can be made can then be made if uh, there will be a sideways or shall we say a correction that is that will be happening on a daily so we always made an entry if our price will revisit this area around 8.4 and 8.5 so we still uh, fix at our target um, this 12.96 so up next we will talk a little bit about one of uh, top traded last week before this was uh, halted in the LME Europe market so this one uh, yeah the week has been good the week closed just above our buy area so our buy area was hit but our forecast was liquidated our stop loss which is which was 2.57 this was uh, liquidated in this area this was manipulated here 